Hello everybody and welcome to this month's comic book reading club. This month we read The Umbrella Academy by Gerard Way. So as I said last week, this is a book that I have in the past avoided because I was not a fan of Gerard Wade's work in other mediums and out of kind of stubbornness I just never read it. A few friends have told me I would enjoy it and I decided for this video that I would read the book and we do it as a reading club and I actually really liked it I thought it was a really great story it was a great twist on the kind of X-Men style superhero ta superhero tale that you've seen in the past through Marvel Comics and then in DC through Doom Patrol uh, it's a story of these kids who were born all at the same time that are born unique and special have some sort of gift and they're all adopted by this man who has a big mansion and decides to train them to become a superhero team. Of course things go wrong, they go their separate ways and where we find all of the heroes at this point is they're all in their separate corners doing things that they think are what they should be doing, living their lives. We get a little bit of background as to what they're doing. Uh, some of them are fighting crime still. Some of them are just living ordinary lives. Uh, each character has their own little mini background there. And we find out that as kids, they were a superhero team. That their quote-unquote father had uh, brought them together to fight crime. And w the one crime we see is somebody takes over the Eiffel Tower and tries to destroy Paris and kind of launch it into space and they kind of stop it but then we fast forward to what the main story is. The main story is that the father of this group has passed and all the kids come together for the first time in years and through this it kind of sets off a doomsday device that one of their villains put up that if they ever dig it together it would trigger and start attacking this pure carnival area and that happens and that forces them to fight together as a team at the same time one of their old other arch villains finds one of the kids who was known to be not so special uh, nobody really knew what her special ability was she didn't seem to have one other than she was very good at the violin he brings her into this orchestra that is going to come together and destroy the universe or destroy the world with music and we find out that her special ability is that she can use music to fight people and destroy things uh, through transformation she turns into the white violin and takes control over this orchestra and decides that because she has been shunned by her family and just has never been shown any kind of care that she is going to destroy the world so as the team defeats the doomsday device, they realize what's going on, they figure there's some sort of trigger that's happening, that's destroying, and they find out it's their sister. And they come together to fight her, they stop her, and that's kind of where the story ends. The mansion they grew up in burned down. You can tell that they have come and decided they should fight together and there's obviously going to be a sequel to this and it was definitely set up that way as well. So I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought the art was fantastic. The storytelling was great. The way they weave the story together between past events and present events was really good. And it was just a cool little twist on that whole X-Men idea of a bunch of kids who were born with unique abilities and came together to fight crime. and. I, I just really enjoyed the the different characters and knowing their analogs and the idea of music playing the vital role in the villain was a really cool idea too. So this gave me pause to kind of think about going back and reading Jared Wade's Doom Patrol because I keep using the X-Men analysis but Doom Patrol is also kind of an X-Men like team and bringing him in on that book sounds kind of cool now that i've read this so i definitely definitely enjoyed it i hope you guys did too um 
So next month, next month we're going to jump into the Ultimates. Uh, I have never actually read the Ultimates proper, so I'm going to read Ultimates uh, Volume One by Mark Millar, and we're going to talk about that next month. So guys, remember to comment down below and let me know what you thought of uh, the Umbrella Academy, and let me know if you uh, are going to pick up Doom Patrol. If you are going to pick up Doom Patrol, you can use my link down below to pick it up, and it uh, kicks back a few dollars towards the Fortress Comic News to help us with things around here, and helps you show your support for what we're doing here. And if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff. And I want to remind you to keep on reading those comics.